Welcome to Web 3.0 Site Builder. We're really excited to show you this. You're going to be creating amazing Web 3.0 websites in no time at all. It's so easy and you'll have sites exactly like this. You look how really they're awesome. Um, they really keep your site visitors engaged. Uh, they're mobile responsive, they work on all devices. Uh, you can embed videos, opt-in codes, it has a built-in gallery with lightbox and also you lead them right through to either a download button, a buy now button, a click to call button and a contact form and right at the bottom here you've also got you can put in all the social media uh, links to your uh, pages there you've got um, a copyright notice put in for you and of course you can put two uh, additional sections yourself in this case I put a link to affiliates and terms but that's fully customizable everything about the site is customizable all the images all the content the logo everything just to show you how significant web 3.0 websites are just have a look at the the major sites that are using Web.30. Uh, here's Clickbank. You've got Flickr, and again, it's just everything moves up and down. Um, again, fully responsive. They're literally amazing. You probably wouldn't have realised even PayPal uh, uses it itself. Again, it just moves. This is the way all the top websites are moving, and you'll be able to create your own in minutes with this software. So, without further ado, let's have a look at the software. I'll pause now and come back. Okay, this is the software. This is what you'll see when you open it up. You can stop this from appearing each time by just clicking this button here. And it really is just a question of uh, filling in the blanks, following the questions and answering them. There's uh, little uh, descriptions down here for each question to help you through. So for example, the first one, the site title, if you're not sure what a site title is or what it does, it explains it down here. Um, now what you can do when you've, when you've completed it and created your site, you can save it and that way if you need to make any changes you can just open your saved project and make changes and then recompile the software uh, the website rather so let me open one now okay so here I've got a saved one where I've built us uh, our own site with it okay so you can see everything's been filled in now because I did it previously uh, you can select a text or image logo if you select an image logo then here I've selected it but you would just select it from your uh, picture library picture folder and literally oh, it's taken it out now literally just uh, keep going through and at the end let me just pull that picture back okay there's a picture back and then you just literally go through filling in the questions as they come it takes no time at all actually created created the sites in six to eight minutes is what it normally takes as long as you've got your images ready um, you can create them in any uh, language as well so if it's a different language you just put what you want in here this is for the contact form field in message so just fill in each one the headings contents for the pages you can put HTML code in the content you can embed video in the content opt-in forms in the content um, and you can have an extra button as we've got here you can then make that extra button uh, click through to another page or you could make it uh, make a phone call click to call um, have a look in the manual there for the action buttons but you can do whatever you want with those buttons 
you can put the text that you want to appear in the button in the extra button uh, then you go through the social media just select which social media accounts you've got and put the, the pages now I'm just putting the generic pages in here but if you had a fan page you just stick the fan page URL in so all the major uh, social media sites are included and um, there goes YouTube then we go onward to footer content you can put uh, two customized uh, sections in the footer and of course you can use HTML code there if you want to you can call the gallery whatever you want here we're calling it examples put in content above the gallery and then name your images and give image titles now you'll have the images set separately in another folder and you'll insert those uh, at the end when you actually create the the site so we'll just go through here all the images we've got called as one two three four five and six dot jpeg given them all titles the titles are seen by seo and they're also seen by um by site visitors when they use the light box and then finally we've got another section where you can put in uh, google analytics that's just been included uh, that's in the next version not here so then you just click finish select the uh, folder that you want to put the site in and click OK and then it's going to build the site for you ok the site's built now literally it just takes a minute or two now at the moment all the images are the standard ones that, that came with the software so what we need to do what you'll need to do is put your images in so here's some images at the moment now let's say uh, you've bought the OTO it doesn't matter if you bought it or not actually all you're going to do is uh, put in the images to overwrite the ones that are already there make sure you use the same sizes that we've uh, recommended we've got the set sizes now if you did buy the OTO um, with the preset uh, niches then it makes it really easy let me show you we'll quickly go to one let's say the photography all you do is select them all copy and then go to the site images folder that you've got here and paste those in and literally overwrite them all okay and that's done now and now you'll see the site okay so here's the site that's been built uh, with the new images that we overwrote the photography ones and even the gallery ones have now been changed and that's the whole site built for you then all you need to do is FTP that to your server and you're done